Hi, I'm Marcus Svensson, and I'm from Sweden, and I'm getting interviewed by Bob Papazio. All right, we're back here at the 2022 NHRA Four Wide Nationals, Las Vegas, Nevada. And anybody that knows drag racing in NHRA knows that there are usually divisions one through seven, and every car number starts with a one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, based on what part of the country you are from. However, we have a number eight here because this car and driver is not from America. This Mr. Marcus Svensson is from Sweden. Marcus, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? Excellent. Now, Marcus, this is a very interesting story here. You live in Sweden, but you drag race here in America. You have a pretty cool 69 Camaro, 396. Can you tell us a little bit about this car? And then we're going to talk about, I mean, how long it takes you to get here from Sweden. That We'll, we'll save that for the end. Right. Uh, let's talk about your uh, 396 here. What is the combination and what is NHRA rated at? This is a 396, 375. It's rated at 400. Uh, now, is this the steel head or the aluminum this head? This is aluminum headed motor. Okay, so that's going to be rated, I guess, higher than... than 400 this. versus 385 with the steel head. Uh, okay. Now, the aluminum heads are probably a lot lighter, right? So does that take some weight off of the... About 70 pounds. Wow. So 70 pounds that you're losing off the front end that you can then shove in the trunk, I guess. Yes. So that's, yes. That's a pretty cool trade-off. What kind of carburetor? It's a Holly 780. That one actually got the factory number on it. Wow, all right. Now who builds the engines? The engine is built by uh, Jim Matter and Greg Luniak. Put it together like four years ago and uh, everything's fine. We're running good. Now what kind of ET did you run in the first qualifying session today? Oh, it was horrible. I ran like a 1043. I mean, the, it's Las Vegas. I, this is the worst weather I ever w run it in Vegas. It's like 109 correction. So I guess if I did everything right, you know, I could be high 20s, you know, but uh, it's slow here today. Yeah. So, and we have a headwind on top of that. Yes. Now this stock eliminator car is an A stick car. So this has a four speed manual transmission in it, which is pretty cool. Marcus, let's take a peek inside the car. All right if you don't mind. Now, Marcus, you said this is a 396, 375, it's the aluminum head, and you said it's rated at 400. How much, 400, yes. How much do you have to weigh in a stick? 33.7 minimum. Okay. Look at this, this is really cool. Now, what kind of transmission do you run, Marcus? This is a Jericho transmission. Uh, lots of low gear, 317, and uh, yeah. Now, it's a Jericho transmission, but it has a Liberty uh, shift handle. So yeah, Craig Liberty, he forced me to put that, 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 that shifter handle on, so <laughs> doing him a favor. Uh, I like the shifter handle. Yeah. And then what kind of clutch do you run? I run a, a Dual 8 East-West. Okay. It's like an old-style pro-stock pro stock style clutch. Let's take a look at the back here. You have a race pack. That's pretty cool. Yes. MSD ignition, he has the power grid. And any, anybody that knows uh, stock eliminator or may not know, factory uh, seats did have to be in the car. You are allowed to up until a few years ago. Factory seats had to remain, but you can change them out now for a racing seat, but you must run two seats and retain all carpeting, uh, dash, you know, little knobs. You can see we have some uh, what, air conditioning levers are still there you are allowed to take the radio out back seat is allowed to come out uh, but the carpeting must remain and we are required to put a roll bar in the car for a stock all the way down to uh, M stock I believe is the rule hey Marcus can we take a look in the uh, trunk here we need to talk about the rear tires <laughs> let's talk about the rear tires there's these some good year tires on here these are radial tires radial tires on a stick shift car so that's that's kind of a gamble. How are you making out with that? Well, if we have time with a short story, I'll let you know. Let's go. Let's hear it. I was, um, in 2018, that's where it all started. I was, uh, I was approaching a friend of mine. Uh, I wanted to leave Vegas and make, make a run for the East Coast. So I want to go Gainesville and maybe do Indy on the way home. And uh, I don't have enough motor to, to fight for class, you know, in, in, or even qualify at Indy. 
Uh, so uh, the question came up and it's like, you know, what are we going to do here? And he said, just put radial tires on. I said, all right, can you do that? I said, yeah, you can do that, he said. And uh, Goodyear people, they have been approached by a lot of people, you know, as far as running a radial tire, but so they just gave me two tires. This is back in 2018. And uh, so I ran them testing here between the national event and, uh, and the points meet, and uh, I made four runs on the tires, and it's 1100s in the bank. Wow. How can you not run the tire? That's and 30 horsepower. No, no uh, clutch adjustments that you had to make? Little, Shock little adjustments? A little bit. <laughs> but, but, um, what kind make, of air pressure? Are we allowed to ask that? Oh, yeah, it's like 18. I mean, you've you got to be careful not to go too low with them. They will collapse on you, you know. So, but 18, 19, like today is, you know, I'm 18 today. And in Stock Eliminator, you're limited to a 9-inch wide tire. So to use that on a big block stick car is, is a gamble. But Marcus sounds like he's making it work. What kind of shocks are you running, Marcus? Up front, I got uh, Randy Mans build me shocks, fast shocks, put some Landrum springs on it, and everything in the back is just bone stock John Calvert. I mean, the springs, the the bars, and uh, and the shocks. That's all Calvert. Yeah, Calvert suspension. He's a big name in that. Uh, what kind of rear do you run in the car? It's a Mosher 12 bolt off the shelf piece, you know. Okay. 514 in the back. I mean, just goes with the weak motor that I have. <laughs> I wish I had a 57 and could put another thousand RPM on it, but. Well, let's look in the trunk real quick while sure. we're at it. Ooh, look at this. We have some weight boxes and a fuel cell and all painted a nice red color to match the exterior of the car. Magna fuel, fuel pump. Excellent. All right. Marcus, let's talk about Sweden now. All right. So you live in Sweden. Yes, I do. You fly here to race. Yes. How long is that flight? Actually, right, so where do you fly into? Uh, I try to go to Vegas, but sometimes it's easier to go to LAX and just drive up here. How many hours is it from Sweden? It's 11 and a half. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Fold it up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I hope you get one of those seats that does like turns into a bed or something. Or you just yeah, like, I've seen them on I picture. would have to lop into the yeah. aisle and take a nap. I mean, yeah. You can't afford them. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Win a couple races here, and, you, and you'll and you be flying first class. There you go. All right, let's talk about Liquid Molly. You got them on the side of your car. Yes. What's your association here? Uh, they decided to help me out a few years back. And uh, it's a German oil and oil additive manufacturer. And uh, they're getting into drag racing. I mean, you'll find more cars running them here. And uh, they've been providing me with stuff, I mean, since since then and it's ex it's an excellent product i'm not saying that just because i get it from them it is it really is well i we welcome any and all uh sponsorship and help and new businesses that want to come into drag racing so thank you liquid molly for sponsoring marcus and um, we hope to see them out at the track i hope they will start selling their products and i'm always interested in learning new things about lubricants and Anything I can do to get an edge uh, in racing. Anything we can all do to get an edge in racing. So, Marcus, we thank you for spending some time with us. We wish you luck this weekend. Thank you. And we know that you will be getting a second qualifying hit uh, in about an hour or two. So, good luck out there dealing with this weather, wind, and every other thing that, the, that they're going to throw at us out here. All right. Thank you.